journey. And uh, today we're obviously in a different setting than my normal candle studio, which is really just a spare bedroom, but whatever. <laughs> today uh, my wife is working from home and so she is using the candle studio as her office. And so we're gonna test out some new waxes. Actually, they're not new, sorry. They're new to me, but they're not new to the world. But I thought this would be a great time to test out these waxes. I have literally had these waxes, I'm not even kidding, for over a year now, uh, meaning to make this video. And it's been a year now, over a year actually. Uh, as you'll see, they are Makesy's uh, Virgin Coconut Soy and Cocoa Apricot Cream, however you say that word, apricot, 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 however you pronounce that. <laughs> I've heard really good things about both of these waxes and so I've been wanting to try them out for quite some time now. I, like I said, bought them like over a year ago back when Makesy was still called the Wooden Wick Company. <laughs> and so it's been a while. Uh, as you'll see when you see the boxes, you're gonna be like, wow, that's, that's pretty old because they're like a little, I don't even know, like they're not moldy or anything like that. It's just like the wax kind of like permeates into the box if you leave it sitting for a long time. So that has definitely happened. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my best to show you guys kind of my process of making candles, testing out waxes, all that stuff. As you can see back here, this is actually, sorry, this is not my process really because I haven't used a double boiler method in probably two years now actually because uh, like right before I launched my business I got Presto Pots and so I'd been using those and now I actually use a DigiBoil instead. Uh, so it's been a really long time since I have actually gotten to use the double boiler method. But I know a lot of you new candle makers, um, this is something, this is like an easy, cheap way to get started with candle making. You don't need to invest in like a big melting thing or anything like that. So I'm gonna take you guys off of my tripod and I'm gonna kind of show you guys around here what's going on and all that. So over here, these are the jars we're gonna be using today. These are the uh, Aura Vessels from Makesy. Um, this is the translucent wine, I wanna say, and I wanna say this is like translucent hunter or hunter green or some I don't know some kind of fancy name maybe it's just translucent green I can't remember so whenever you're testing out like a new wax or anything like that you do want to make sure that you're not uh, changing too many variables because if you're changing like the wick and the vessels and just all that stuff or like a fragrance oil and all that stuff then you're just not gonna know exactly what you know what is working and what isn't we are also going to be using a uh, pink lemonade from the flaming candle here. Sorry, get it so it's not so bright. <laughs> uh, this is a very strong fragrance oil. I use it, um, I call it a front porch lemonade, um, but it is a great fragrance oil. It's got a good, strong cold throw and hot throw, so I thought this would be a good one to use to test out. That's another thing is you want to make sure you're not, you're, you're using a fragrance oil that you know that works. You don't want to use like a brand new fragrance oil that you've never used before when testing out a new wax. And then also just got my handy dandy thermometer here. I've got my kitchen scale that I use to measure out fragrance oil and waxes and all of that stuff. And then we've also got these little things over here. These are called wickets and these are wick centers. They are from Design House. Um, I will definitely leave a link down in the description box below because these are game changers. These are actually not the correct size for the Aura Vessels, um, but they work just as well. They are technically for the Cali jars, which is from California Candle Supply, which is what I normally use. Um, but these work pretty well. They're just slightly smaller, but they still work. And then these are the wicks that we're gonna be using today. This is HTP 83. These are what I know work in this vessel. I haven't worked with this, what, these either of these waxes before. So hopefully these work okay with these waxes, but I thought we'd just test these out since I know that they work with my wax, which is 6006. Um, but I know that they work if you double wick or whatever with these in these vessels that we're using today. And then, like I told you guys, these are pretty old. That's why they, the boxes kind of look like this. Uh, they've been stored kind of underneath like tables and they've been, had other boxes on top of them. So the wax has started to kind of like seep into the box a little bit. Um, but I want to go ahead and open these up. And like I said, these are 
virgin coconut soy and cocoa apricot or apricot, however you pronounce that word, <laughs> cocoa apricot cream from uh, Wooden Wick Company, which is now known as Makesy. But they're even still, uh, they've got like their seals on them and somehow it's still kind of got, it actually might just be the wax paper then, I don't know. That's seeping through the box somehow. I don't know. I don't know how all that works. But as you can see, these haven't even been touched. <laughs> um, they, it's a very nice white uh, wax or whatever. Little, I would say, I mean, maybe slightly. The camera doesn't really pick it up, but it's like slightly off-white. It's more like a cream color. And then... Same thing with the cocoa apricot cream. As you can see, this one actually is maybe slightly whiter. It's a little hard to see on camera, but uh, it's maybe like a little bit slightly whiter than the virgin coconut soy. I have, I only have five pounds of this one and I have 11 pounds of the virgin coconut soy. I think they were on sale at the time. I honestly don't remember. It's been like over a year ago though. <laughs> So first off, we're gonna start off with the Cocoa Apricot Cream Wax. Um, I know that these vessels hold roughly, I mean, technically they actually hold 12 ounces, but today just for the sake of math and all of that, uh, we're just gonna do 10 ounces of wax and one ounce of fragrance oil. These waxes both, I did check, they both can hold 10 ounces, or 10% uh, <laughs> of fragrance, which is what I normally use. That was already about seven ounces. So we're gonna cut some small pieces. This wax is like very, it's very smooth, very easy to cut. Um, it does feel kind of like the inside of a coconut. So yeah, <laughs> that's how you know there's some real coconut in there. Cut this small piece to a smaller piece. Uh, I'm very like picky when it comes to how much wax is in there. That's close enough, 10.1 ounces. <laughs> and as you can see here, I've got the wax. So I'm just gonna, you just place it in here and let that melt. Uh, so with the Cocoa Apricot Cream, I did look it up um, on Mixie's website. They say to add fragrance usually about uh, between 180 and 190 degrees, so that's what we're gonna do today. And while our wax is over here uh, melting, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out these, clean out and wick these jars. Um, I like to clean out my jars beforehand with some rubbing alcohol. One, just because it helps the wick stickers uh, stick to the bottom of the jar easier. And two, it just kind of gets any kind of weird you know there's like some dust in here i don't know if you guys can see hopefully it's focusing right <laughs> uh but there's some dust in here because they've been sitting in my closet for a couple couple months now <laughs> so we're just gonna get those cleaned out and then i'll place the wicks and then after you've cleaned them out with alcohol i like to go with a dry paper towel this doesn't have any alcohol or anything on it uh, and wipe them back out just because i want to make sure Obviously that you're getting any uh, alcohol and stuff out of there just because alcohol is obviously flammable and all of that. So I just like to wipe it back out with a dry paper towel. Sorry if you guys can mostly hear the bubbling from the wax over here. It's a little, <laughs> it's getting a little crazy, but um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use one of these guys. So I just, all you have to do is put these down there in the bottom. And then after that, what you're going to do is take these little tabs off the wick stickers and stick the wicks on there. And again, we're double wicking, so we're going to do two for each jar. Once you've gotten the wick stickers on here, you can just simply place them down in there. I sometimes use my 
thermometer to kind of put them in place, but sometimes you can usually get them in there okay without using it. But this, these little wake centers help to make sure that your wicks are always perfectly centered. Once they're both in there and you can take out the wick center and then you do want to make sure that you press down really well on these because you do want to make sure that they're going to stay. I would not just place them on there and expect that they're going to stay. You do really want to push them down really good. And then I like to give them, just to make sure that this is really uh, secure, I like to give it a nice little hold it up by the wicks and shake them a little bit just to make sure that they are not going to come out of there. <laughs> just to be safe. And then once you've gotten your jars wicked and all that, I like to go ahead and measure out the fragrance oil. Um, so I just use these glass beakers that I got from Amazon. I got like six of them for, I want to say like 20 bucks, something like that. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while, but somewhere around there. But they are super easy to clean. Uh, I just rinse them out with soap and water to get the fragrance out. And they are good as new. I've never noticed any kind of fragrance transfer or anything like that because they are glass. So I'm just going to place this right on there, go ahead and tear it. So I'm just going to go ahead and weigh out uh, one ounce of fragrance, which is 10% when you're using 10 ounces of wax. Oop, I got just a little bit too much, so I'm going to pour some back in here. All right, 1.02 ounces, close enough most of that will stick to the side of the jar. All right, I am gonna go ahead and take it off. It was, I was looking at the Makesy website and it does say between 180 and 190. So we're about 195 right now, so I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit just to get to 190 and then I'll add the fragrance right around 190. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add my fragrance. I like to get every last drop out that I can. And then I am going to stir for like a good long while just because I want to make sure that the fragrance gets incorporated really well. If you are using this video as like a candle making tutorial, I would suggest making sure just looking at your wax, seeing what it needs to be heated to um, and see what uh, temperature you need to add fragrance because this is, every wax is a little bit different because this is definitely warmer than what I heat my wax to. With 6006, I usually heat my wax to about 185, 190, but then I let it cool down. Uh, and I usually don't add fragrance until about, right about 180. Because that's what I've found works for me and my wax. All right, and now that I've been stirring this for quite a long time, I'm going to go ahead and pour it right into my jar. These do hold closer to 12 ounces, so this isn't gonna fill it all the way up to the top, but just for math's sake, I just made it easier and did 10 ounces of wax with one ounce of fragrance oil. And then right after pouring, I do go ahead and add this guy to the top to hold these wicks in place. It just sits right on top here and you can pop the wicks right into these things. Okay, and as you can see, I did get it in here. This wick keeps popping out. <laughs> uh, it's because I'm using the wrong size. If you use the right size, again, this is just for testing. I'm not going to sell these or anything. So, um, but if you do get the right size, they're much easier to use. <laughs> I am using the ones for the Cali jars because that is what I use like with my candle business normally so but i'm probably going to invest in some of the actual size for these um they are just slightly bigger so they fit around the rim better uh, and the wicks don't keep popping out like this <laughs> and we are just going to go ahead and do the same exact process for the virgin coconut soy wax so i'm just going to cut it This box, I will say, feels a little bit thicker than the uh, the cocoa apricot cream. Um, this feels closer to 6006. Um, if you didn't know, this is, so virgin coconut soy is mostly just coconut soy and a little bit of food grade paraffin. And the 
uh, cocoa apricot cream is coconut, apricot, and uh, food grade paraffin, and I'm not sure what else. <laughs> All right, 10.1, close enough again. Now, something about these waxes that I did want to point out is because, so these are made from Makesy. And just so you know, yes, there is another variation of cocoa apricot cream and virgin coconut soy. They're both really popular waxes. But I do want to let you know that if you are getting them from Makesy, you are not getting the same version. I'm using the Makesy version today but you're not getting the same version as you get from like other places. I think like Porter Candle Supply and I am not even sure who else sells this wax or whatever, I can't remember. All who sells cocoa apricot cream and virgin coconut soy. But I just wanna let you know that if you're getting it from Makesy, you are getting a slightly different version than what you get from other suppliers. If you're getting it from other suppliers, it's one wax. If you're getting it from Makesy, it's a whole different wax. So you do wanna make sure that uh, if you're getting it, you know, you know who you're getting it from and know that you might have to change some things if you're using the Makesy version. All right, and this did get up to right about 200. It was a little under like 190 something, 199 something. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool down to 190 just like we did with the cocoa apricot cream. And then I'm going to be adding in the fragrance oil. And again, I'm using the same exact fragrance oil so that I can kind of test and see is one going to be stronger hot throw, stronger cold throw, etc. All right, and then I've already added the fragrance and stirred it for a good long while. I'm just going to go ahead and pour this in here. So now that we are all finished up with making the candles, we are gonna give them a 72 hour uh, cure time because on the Makesy website for both of these waxes, that's what it suggests. So that's what we're gonna try. Uh, I might also try it two weeks. We'll see um, if I remember to do it, honestly. <laughs> Um, but we'll definitely try after 72 hours. I will put the videos with this video as well so you can see kind of my thoughts on the hot throw, cold throw, glass adhesion, all that stuff. So that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a nice thumbs up for me. And if you guys enjoy these type of videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see more. Thank you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great day.